Hey guys, I'm Jinx, and just like this parachutist, I'm hanging in there. Welcome back to Telltale's The Walking Dead. Oh, there's the other half. Oh, ooh. so he wasn't he wasn't chopped in half. He was more like ripped in half. Comfortable. The hell happened here? Well, I'm not an expert when it comes to helicopters or highways or anything like that, but to my untrained eye, it would appear that perhaps, just maybe, that there's a chance that this helicopter did in fact crash. Well, there's the water tower. Not too far away. Radio. So, we didn't actually formulate a plan about how to get over this gap, but we're just gonna go ahead and grab this chopper blade. <laughs> because that seems safe. And that can totally support the weight of a grown adult. You're not thinking. It's that or go back. We should go lightest to heaviest. That way it won't break on the first swing. I'll True go enough. first, Clem. Um, I guess you guys are about the same weight. Get a long run up, but not too long. If you take too many quick steps, you'll propel yourself upward instead of out. Really? David, How's that work? He's got this. She's right. I do. You do? I know you've gotten a lot more confident and competent um, over the course of this game, but holy shit, dude. Uh, that, like, <laughs> I don't know if anybody would immediately got the... Hush my mouth. He fucking... He got it. All right. Come on, Clem. Your turn. Okay. How does everybody just fucking like do could you do that? Record, I could. I do not trust this thing. Yeah, me neither. Not at all. It's one thing for the kids to swing across, but us? You've got this. I've seen you do things that are way scarier. Okay. I can do it. Okay. I'll just sit up in my chair real quick. <sighs> oh boy. <sighs> See, easy. All right, David. Those you're were some serious adult you noises. Go first. Oh, you're definitely lighter. Ah, oh, come on, you know the drill. Age before beauty. <laughs> you fucker. All right. Oh boy. See, but he made those adult noises too, like, oh, I'm getting too old for this shit. Oh, those grunts. Anyway, it's gonna break. Hobby! Uh, Hobby! 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 Hang on! I, I'm. I don't have much of another choice, eh? H how are you climbing that up? Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna question it. Good job, Hobby. <sighs> Okay, nice. Come, come on. on! Come on! Come oh, on! Nice. Come on! You okay? Good work, everyone. Just like we rehearsed. I don't know. I think we can do better. Oh, Get you want to try again? Let's try that again. Enough. Come on. Yeah, come on. But hey, but uh, raising there. the morale isn't a bad thing. Jesus Christ, you know what's a bad thing though? My fucking stuffed up nose. Holy shit. Remember last, like, in one of the last episodes, I think I mentioned being sick. Yeah, I was sick. Not anymore, but like, I still have that like aftermath going on, so it's fucking annoying. 
miss when all we did was track the herd from a safe distance. We'll we need to fish. get down there. We're not getting anywhere without one of those vehicles. It's not like we can just ask all those walkers to move out of the way. I mean, you could. How about we make some noise and distract them? That we sounds that better. Generator. It's a great idea, Gabe. When'd you get so smart, Gabe? Don't, don't. You really aren't the same kid I remember. I'm impressed, really. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. We still gotta get to the generator somehow. Cut sure a walker enough. open and cover yourself with its guts. Then you can slip right through them. <laughs> What? That works. You can do that. Huh. Learn something new every day. But I mean, she mentioned it before. She's done it before so, in this game. Who's gonna off do screen, it? but yeah. Javi, you've been willing to do some crazy stuff for me before. I know shooting Conrad wasn't easy, but it showed me I can always depend on you. Of course, Clem. Look, it smells really bad. Like, way worse than you think. <laughs> that, that, that might be the best advice I've gotten so far. But absolutely true. You'll do. Probably. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Ah, there we go. Absolutely. I kind of like fucking. Oh God. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. I really like that in the entire Walking Dead universe, like a couple people figure out that you can do this, but not everybody. Like the majority of people don't. This sucks. This sucks. Because how would you even? Do you just literally eat shit all day long? Is that why you smell so bad? <laughs> okay. That better be enough. Like, because who the fuck would think of covering yourself in, the, in, in their guts? And even if you did think of it, why would you think that would work, you know? Oh, I have to manually steer through. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. That is so cool. Easy, pal. I'm dead. You know that. Just smell me. No human would ever smell this bad. Oh my god! And as, as weird as that might be, it's canonical that that works. Glenn has done it too in like episode 2 or 3 of The Walking Dead, you know, just back at a walker and they think you're dead. It's amazing. Like, it, I don't know, it's, I think it's really cool that that stuff just like canonically works. Of course the game is borrowing it from the show, but because this game also takes place in the same universe, you can just say that in the, wa in the, the Walking Dead universe, that stuff works. Um, I'm sorry for talking. I thought I'd get a second. I guess not. Let's press the button. I wonder how many people have died there. <laughs> because who the fuck would? You did it, Javi. Barely. But now that we're here, yeah. we gotta find Why something to seal the breach with. All we need is the right vehicle.
Oh, that's not gonna do the job, man. Yes, it is. What are you doing? The right thing. Huh? I'm leaving. We're all leaving. What? And going where? You saw it yourself. We're surrounded by the herd. I'm taking my family out of here. You helped keep them safe, Clem. You're coming too. Let's go. Everyone. We can't wait around. This is bullshit, David. We can't split up. We're dead if we do. Then we don't split up. We protect each other, like family. This all started the day we knocked on Richmond's door. We brought this on these people, all of us. We can't abandon them. Not after what we've done. We're going home, Kate. Back to the last place we were a family. We're starting over. We're all together again, finally. It's time. All of us. A new day, a new life. But what am I here, man? Make Richmond our new home. Richmond is gone, Javi. I'm not gonna let the people I love die trying to save a dead dream. I'll go with you, Dad. Gabe! He's my father, Clem. I'm sorry, but... He really wouldn't understand. I mean, Think fuck, man, she would. Gabe? Is this what you really want? I know it's scary out there, but... I have to. You don't have to be afraid, Gabe. I won't let what happened to Mariana happen to you. You have my word. I will protect you the right way. I'm not missing another minute with my family now. This is what I want. I... I understand, Gabe. I'm still going back. I won't be able to live with myself if I don't try to help the people in Richmond. You won't be able to live at all if you do that. Richmond is compromised. Doesn't matter if there were five of us trying to save it or 500. We'd all die. I know a losing battle when I see one. We're moving out. Everybody get in. That's an order. How fucking dare you? What will it take, David? What will it take to show you that you do not get to do that? We are not your soldiers. Run away home. Be a deserter. I am done with you. Let's go, Javi. Why the fuck do you think he would go with you? Don't... Ah, boy. I mean... Yeah, Tell okay. Him. What the fuck is this? Javi! I love her, man. We're in love. No, but... I should have known. I should have known the night Pa died. The night you weren't there. What? Blood is worthless to you. Just like he was to you. Just like I am to you. Well, it's what? time for you to finally learn what blood really means. What? David! Dad! What do you have to say for yourself, brother? David! Stop it! Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. I love you, man. Totally. I love you. No. No, you don't get to say that! <laughs> Jesus Christ, stop! Try to be a good brother, right? But okay, that's a bit too far, but I still love you, though. How fucking dare that's you! That's enough! Stop it! I love you! No! Stop saying that! Stop. Oh, boy! Dad, no! Oh! Dave. Oh, my God! You're not taking my family from me! David, no! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Fucking stop! Hey, where did you stop? I love you, brother. No! Well, it was about time we fucking kept that promise, cuz-
Yeah, of course. What the hell is he doing? Yeah, he's gonna be gone, right? David took him. We can't wait any longer. We have to go help Richmond. I'm getting on that bulldozer. But Gabe... Gabe wanted to go. He did. We all heard it. You're... You're right. Yeah, she's actually... I mean, it all happened a bit quickly I'm and dramatically, but... Someone has to. Question is, would Gabe You're still want to go? You're gonna need as much help as you can get, Kate. I'll go with you. Okay. Javi, you hop on that motorcycle and go after Gabe. What about you two? I can take care of myself. We're out of time. Javi, I'm sorry. I've been here before, more than once. It's not gonna end well for everyone. You have to decide. It's hard to be caught in the middle. I know that. Whoa, hold up now. Don't worry about me, Javi. I'll be okay. Hold up now. Now hold We're up. running out of time. Hold up now. Now hold up. I don't have a timer. Javi, Stop yelling on. at me. Go after gate. Listen to your heart, Javi. I'm not gonna risk either of you getting hurt. We saved the city. Together. Let's go seal the breach. Then we go after Gabe? Then we go after Gabe. If we don't die first. It's not gonna end well for everybody, dude. I think we just chose if to get to the we're gonna drive into the herd, we're gonna need these. All of this is happening a bit fast for me. Uh, but that might just be me. Holy shit, look at Clem. <laughs> Just standing up there with the fucking AK. Um, yeah. I don't know how I feel about this whole saving um, the city thing, but Kate is kind of right. Damn, that's some There's serious skill. Side. Can you help us get the gate open? Almost didn't recognize you, Jesus. What the fuck? Once I got in contact with my people, I headed right back. Had to make sure you folks were safe. I think I'm getting the hang of this. We'll keep the muertos away. Just get me to the gate so I can open it up. I got your back, Javi. Okay, Javi can fucking shoot. We're almost there. Javi, get in the busket and I'll lift you to the top of the gate. Busket? The thing in the front, the scooper thing, whatever, get in it. Yeah, seriously, I mean, what I'll else would it be? You. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Suddenly, different button. Easy. Oh, 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 oh. Yuck! <laughs> Did Bobby, you have to look at right. it? Yeah, busket. That's how you folks to drop by. Of course, always. A time. Nice. I'll have it open in a second. I mean, this entire Didn't idea is crazy. Open gate button. Seriously. Uh, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> yes, this one, sure. Oh, what the fuck? Hey. You did it, Hobby. Fucking natural, baby. Bingo. Let's get inside and wrangle the walkers together. If we get them in one group, we can lead them right out. It's crazy to me, this entire idea, because like essentially the like the city is overrun. Like what the what the fuck are you gonna do? Richmond, that's the name. Like what the fuck are you gonna do? Right? So the idea of trying to save it even is crazy to me. But yeah, you can lead them out, that's right. Oh boy. Full steam ahead. Really? Hey, now. That's a bit too close for comfort. It's very too close for comfort. There we go. There's too many. Try the other setting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
and goodbye ammunition. <laughs> Okay. Will do, can do. We'll try to. Here we go. Okay. Oh boy. I don't know if a bulldozer can do that. I don't know if that's realistic, but we'll just roll with it. Because it's cool. I mean, who the fuck else can say that they crossed. drove through a herd of walkers in a bulldozer and used that bulldozer to lift another car and then seal a breach in a wall to fight off a herd? That's pretty cool. Not, that, like that's, That earns you some badass points. That is true. Nice. I mean, that, that worked pretty well. That's it. Let's get out of here. Yeah, like park the bulldozer like up against it or something. Ah, that's good enough. Oh my god, the Jesus, trail of blood. Over here. We need to round up these walkers. Head them towards the gate. Welcome back. I thought we were coming back to, uh, well, not to this. Yeah. It's just a little surprising. That's all. Yeah, we've had some difficulties. Certainly one way to put it. Javi, we have to go after Gabe. These guys can take care of the rest of the walkers. Go, Javi. I'll help out here. Okay. Let's go, Clem. Yes, let's. It's actually cool that they came back, but it, it makes sense. Uh, it makes sense story-wise that, like, you get a bit of help, you know, from, like, people who you're supposed to believe are really, really skilled at this. Like, Jesus. Um, but also makes sense that only two of them came back because, like, they thought they were just gonna, like, visit another settlement. Or, you know, whatever they were planning to do. Whoa! Oh, dude, no! Until they... <coughs> but I couldn't. There were so many. I fucked up. After everything you taught me. Oh, it really hurts. You didn't fuck anything up, buddy. You fought as hard as you could. I'm proud of you. I tried. I really did. I know. No, Gabe. Do me a favor, go on. Okay, no. Take my cards. What? My playing cards. Grab them. TJJ Euchre. Okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, man. This is wrong. You deserved better. I got to meet you. Can't be all wrong. Bye, Clem. Give me your gun, Javi. I don't want it turn into a muerto. Gabe. Gabe, I don't know if I can let you do that to yourself. And I can't make you guys do it for me. Just give me the gun. Hurry. Javi. Okay, okay. 
Here you go. Me not be my father, Abby. But you are a great dad. Please, Baco, wait. I just want you to see this. Okay. Bye, Javi. Bye, buddy. I love you. I love you, too. I'll say hi to Mariana for you. Well, that was fuck. That was actually really fucking. Br three days later. That was really, really fucking brutal. Is that? No, it's not Conrad. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, there are pictures of children here. Oh man. Yep. Glad you helped me, Javi. But I can't stop wondering how things might be different if you hadn't. <laughs> Maybe Gabe wouldn't be with Mariana right now. Yeah, but you would. They deserved better, Javi. Better than us. Yeah. Gabe, Mariana. They were my responsibility. They're dead because of me. We're all to blame. Not just you. Usually the quiet scares me. What about now? There's a lot of work to be done. The herd could come back. Still, though, I feel more calm here than... ...than I ever did in an old van on streets with no streetlights. We earned this, Javi. We earned feeling calm in the quiet. Let's start a family. You and me. A fresh start. What do you say? I think it'd be good for us. I don't know, Kate. After everything that just happened... It all feels so soon. Maybe someday. But not right now. Okay. Maybe someday. I know the I don't think I'm forgetting about this one, Garcia. <sighs> we'll be up there before we know it. Better do something worthwhile in the meantime. I know the maybe part of that answer is a bit heartbreaking, but yeah, it, right now is too soon. Do we know if Joan died or if she got at away? Oh, hey, man. Heading out? Yes, indeed. We came here to put an end to the raiding. Looks like that's been done. Hmm. 
Glad we got it settled. Gotta move on. I gotta admit, man, you're a fucking badass. You're a real charmer. <laughs> you know that? Through and through. Are you really sure you don't want to stay? There's room. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure there is, but... Are we, we got other people flirting? <laughs> on this, Javi. Just the way it is. I was worried about you, Javi. About who you are inside. You helped save these people, though. That goes a long way for me. Second chances are in short supply these days. That's what this place can be if you let it. Trust me, though. Life within walls is a hell of a lot different than life on the road. Don't take shortcuts like Joan. You gotta do the right thing. Always. Good days, and especially bad. Absolutely. The right thing. No matter what. Good to hear. I read people pretty well. Little gift of mine. You're a capable guy, Javi. Change is in the air here. You can lead that change, and I think you should. For the better. God knows this town could use it. You know what? I'm gonna step up. Lead this place in the right direction. Then as far as I'm concerned, Richmond's in much better hands than it was. Be vigilant. Trouble never stays too far away. So you're out of here too, huh? Yeah. It's time. I have to find AJ Javi. I've waited so long. But could you do me one last favor before I leave? Sure. Are we cutting her hair? I used to do this for my niece. That's nice of you. She thought I was terrible at it. Yeah. Who are you? None of your business. I have to see AJ Javi. I have to see that he's okay. Do you think he remembers me? Well, it hasn't been that at long. At least a little? Maybe? Who could forget you, Clem? No one who knew you, I guarantee it. Yeah, maybe. Everyone told us he was better off. After everything that's happened, I'm starting to think they're right. I don't know if I was a good mom or not. I can't stop thinking about it. I really wish I could. Did you love him? With all of my heart. And of course you were. Gabe told me you used to play baseball. I did. I loved it. He told me you fucked it all up, too. Yep. Sure did. Well, you survived. I had to. But you loved it. How do you survive that? How? If you really loved it, how? That's what's good about a broken heart. When you're looking at it all broken and shattered on the floor, you figure out the pieces you need versus the ones you liked. If you're ready to move on, that is. If. All done. Well, how's it look? Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. You know what? I'll grab your hat. <laughs> I remember this team. Your dad ever teach you about baseball? No, not really. Well, you come back, and I'll tell you all about it. It's a deal. If I bring AJ back with me, will you teach him too? You bet. 
He belongs with you, Clementine. Bring him back. Okay. Oh, there's more. Seriously expected a roll credits, but no, there's one last goodbye. Look at you! Ha! <laughs> Holy shit! dude what the hell oh my god okay that's actually really cool uh this little moment and seeing clem all different now i mean that's a cool jacket she had but like i know we've seen her essentially not grown up grown up but more grown up this whole game right Episode 5 from the Gallows. But I don't know. It was really... Oh, only now it really clicked with me. That fucking... Like, she grew up, dude. Like, she was like 8 in the first... Dude, I remember fucking as Lee teaching her how to shoot. And now fucking... Oh, man. Ah, I did have a, a couple of tears in my eyes just like... I don't know, because of the whole thing. Anyway, your experience with David was familial, okay? You refused David's hand after he punched you on the night your father died. Oh yeah, well, I mean, that was a shit thing to do. You supported David's plan to meet at his house in Richmond. In his time of need, you stood by David. Your experience with Kate was romantic, that is true. You kissed Kate in the junkyard, you rejected Kate's plan to leave Richmond, yeah? You told Kate you wanted a future with her, you dismissed Kate's idea to start a family. For now, but yes. Your experience with Gabe was safety first. You upset Gabe by not staying in the trailer for the night, you told Gabe the truth about his neighborhood friend, yeah? You helped Kate save Richmond before going after Gabe. You gave a bitten Gabe your gun so he could prevent himself from turning. I have... That moment, finding David and Gabe, deserves props and criticism at the same time. Because I love the consequence of it. I, do, I don't love... Necessarily the, the way that choice was presented. But I also kind of get it, like, Clem said, you know, like, you can't save everyone, whatever, so you immediately know, okay, this choice is it, like, whoever I don't go with is going to die, or something bad's gonna happen, right? Like, you know that going in, like, I, I think all of us knew that we weren't gonna find David and Gabe, and, like, they were gonna be fine, like, something's, something was gonna happen. And I made the choice knowing that, which is fine, I li and I like that the consequence is... Like, really brutal. And in the, in this case, it's realistic. Like, they drove through a herd in just a normal car, just the two of them. After fucking, like, emotionally heated arguments and, and whatever and all of that. Like, it was risky as fuck. And something went wrong. I like that. And we get to see what went wrong. And I bet the same would have happened if you had um, gone with Gabe first. Right? Or gone after them first. Like, you could probably save both of them. Or maybe just save Gabe and not David or something. Probably a couple choices there. But then, I guarantee you, Kate would have died in the herd. Because, of course, she would have. She was going alone. Well, half alone. You know, with Clem. But she was going to fucking, in like, ride again into a herd. To try and, like, save the day by herself. Clem wasn't going to die because she still has a game. But, yeah. It's realistic that something happens. But... Um, I don't necessarily like that it's just off screen, it, even though it makes sense because, of course, you weren't there. 
That's the whole point. Like you, you chose to be somewhere else, so you weren't there. And and then the bad shit happened. That makes sense. And I like that bad shit really happens. But I guess what I'm saying is I don't like that you don't get to do anything about it. Like there is no way to save everyone, right? Or as many people as you can. Like somebody is going to die. Like I either Kate or Gabe, you know, the two people who you guaranteed probably care about. Like somebody is going to die and you just can't do anything about it. All you can do is choose who you want to be with um, first. So I guess I don't necessarily like that, but also it is realistic, and I like that there are real consequences. And I like that scene a lot at the end with Gabe. He grew up so much over the course of the game. Anyway. Your new frontier story. Oh, Eleanor could have died too. You reassured Trip by promising you wouldn't cause trouble in Prescott. When you went behind trips back, uh, you then you went behind trips back to get the junker to get the junker sooner. That is true. Finally, you picked trip to live, but Joan shot him to teach you a lesson. You took Eleanor up on her offer to sneak you out of the junkyard. Then Eleanor leaked your plan to incite resistance against Joan. Ultimately, you did not forgive Eleanor for her betrayal. Honestly, the story with these two, not between those two, but either of both of them with Javi, essentially like it didn't. It started off like okay or good, it was going good for a while, but it really turned to shit at the end with both of them. Troop even died. New Frontier story, Ava and Lingard. Wait, both of them could have survived? Oh boy, I have a high body count in this one, don't I? Clementine declined Ava's offer to meet with the New Frontier. Oh yeah, in the beginning, yeah, obviously. Then Ava helped you get into the armory because you showed solidarity with David. In the end, despite you're not picking her to live, Eva died saving you on the overpass. Yeah. <laughs> but she died so quick too. Like, I was convinced she was going to come back. I actually, I actually forgot about that, but... I was convinced she was going to come back because it's like you didn't see her die, right? Like, you didn't even see, like, blood sp splitting out of her. It just happened quick. I, like, in a, in a scene where that's supposed to convey a character death you would expect her to not only get bitten but also struggle on the edge for a little bit and then reach out her hand to 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 um javi and then fall with the camera still looking at her while she's looking up at the camera while falling and then hit the floor and then she's dead and then you as a as a player know she's dead but this way she just like fell off screen and that was it lingard clementine ignored lingard's medical advice regarding aj that is true we gave him the shot anyway then you gave Lingard a lethal injection, true. And Lingard told you AJ's location shortly before dying. I don't remember where it is, but he told the location. Exactly. Plus he wanted to die, I'm fine with that. Yeah, obviously Jesus won't die. Okay, so maybe maybe some deaths here aren't guaranteed because yeah. Um Conrad, you coached Francine through Conrad's poker game. Um then when Gabe threatened Conrad. You, convi uh, you convince your nephew to lower his gun. Later, you shot Conrad in the tunnel after he threatened Gabe's life. Yes. Even though I'm fully convinced he wasn't going to shoot. Dude. Like, what the fuck do you expect to happen when, when, when you pull a gun on my nephew's head? Like, fuck you. You're going to die. Oh, whoops. Jesus. When you met Jesus, you didn't trust him, so you bound his hands. Then you promised Jesus to always do the right thing in helping... Uh, Richmond survive. Lastly, you promised Jesus you would help lead Richmond. Yeah, because I think it makes sense for Javi. Like, in the end there, Kate's, Kate is right. There was like one line of dialogue where she said like, this is on all of us, like if we hadn't come to Richmond, if, if this hadn't blah blah blah, then none of this would have happened, which is true. Th there is a bit more context to it, but th that is true. You could also say that Jones to blame for everything, but... Without us, none of the shit would have happened either, that is true. So, part part of my motivation, I guess, or part of uh, uh, Javi's motivation for actually going to help here is... Because, yeah, like, if we are kind of to blame for everything that happened in Richmond, let's try to make it right. Plus, Kate wants to make it right. Plus, I want to protect her, right? Like, like, like Javi wants to make sure 
Kate is safe and she's going to do this, so I'm going to do this. But, you know, he, she also wants to make sure that Gabe is safe, but I don't know. Choices, man, choices. Plus, leading, leading Richmond. Yeah, we don't actually know what happened to Joan. God damn it. I was hoping we knew if she died or not, because this means she could come back. Anyway. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. And leading Richmond makes sense, because, like, I mean, unless somebody else wants to step up, but story-wise, it might make sense that, you know, Javi wants to ensure that Richmond now becomes a good community, plus a good place for him and Kate to live and later on start a family, and a good place for uh, Clem and AJ to return to. You kept your mouth shut when Joan baited you about Mariana's death. Then, uh, then your plan to exp expose Joan failed. Great. Currently, Joan's whereabouts are unknown. Clint kicked you out of Richmond for stealing gas. Then you took Clint's deal and spared Joan's life. Finally, David shot Clint on stage after you agreed to Clint's deal. Which I still think Joan would have gone back on that deal, but yeah. Did you stand with David on the ledge? Yeah, 92% of people stepped up to help David, of course. What did you say to David about Kate? You and 53% of players confessed your love to Kate. 28% uh, of players came clean about your relationship with Kate. Okay. 15% of players denied having a relationship with Kate, but David didn't believe you. And 2% of players said nothing. Hmm. Yeah, I, I wasn't entirely sure what those choices were going to mean. So I just picked the love one because I knew that to be true. And it was the most, like, properly written one. So yeah. Plus, yeah, it's true. Did you fight fight David back? You and 63% of players showed your love for David even as he took his anger out on you. I, I like that that's almost 50-50. More people chose to do the forgiveness route, which is cool. But, yeah. Did you go after Gabe or with Kate? 64% of players uh, went with Kate and sealed the Richmond breach. Interesting. Interesting. Did Clementine come along... With you, after the fight with David, Clementine teamed up with you and 46% of players. Really? What did the other 53 do? So that she wouldn't team up? What the fuck? You and 92% of players stepped up. Oh, this is just a a determined survivor. Your Clementine became a determined survivor when tragedy struck. The Wellington community, Clementine had only seconds to grab her friend Kenny's hat before she and AJ were forced back on the road to fend for themselves. I forgot that we grabbed the hat. I'm so glad we did. After swallowing her pride and joining the new frontier, Clem used their resources to help the person closest to her survive. She was unrepentant even when exiled. Yeah. When Javi and David fought at the water tower, Clem remembered a similar fight long ago. She took control of the situation by putting a gun to David's head, stopping the violence before it escalated. I didn't even think of that, but you're absolutely fucking right. Mo oh my god, imagine seeing that again. Like, something like that again, you know? Having flashbacks to... To Kenny and, and Jane. And last time, she didn't shoot? Last time her choices were shoot or don't shoot. Either way, somebody gets killed. This time she took control of the situa situation and made sure both people survived. At least before David died later on, but whatever. Once David left the truck with Gabe, Clem decided to assist Kate in sealing the breach wall, strategizing that she or AJ might need shelter or resources from Richmond in the future. Interesting. That's not exactly how that was conveyed to me, but that was going through her head apparently according to the game. Okay. I don't like that. 100%? So, this Clementine that we met in the beginning of the of the season, right? Um, she turned a lot into Jane from season 2. Like, she, she was alone, and she was surviving alone, that's true, but she also became really... I don't know if harsh is the right word. Uh, harsh isn't the right word, but she became very something, like, you know what I mean. Um... But I, I like to think that 
our Clementine, I suppose, is still in there, of course. She just grew up and changed over the course of like a good couple years in between games and losing AJ. Um, well, not losing as in he died, actually, like not having him. But it makes sense that that is still in her head. In Our Clementine still is a survivor, right? Like she's still going to survive. And I guess that's what she's always been. In a way, she always has been a determined survivor, right? Like, at, at least those are the lessons that Jane taught her, and, and the Clementine we met in this season clearly took a lot of that to heart. I mean, she's still doing the knee thing, which I think, which is really fucking cool, by the way. I love that, that, that she does, still does that. But of course, she's still also... She's more than, like, just somebody... He, she doesn't just look out for herself, which some of this stuff, especially the last line, uh, or, like, the second point here, Clem used the resources to help the person closest to her survive. She was unrepentant even when exiled. That, that wasn't exactly my fucking... That wasn't exactly what I wanted to convey. I just always was hostile in those, uh, in those back uh, flashbacks because they took AJ. But I never, I never thought about how Clementine was feeling. I guess I wasn't. I guess I was unrepentant too about taking resources. My point is, I don't see Clementine as somebody who would just. The only reason she helped Richmond is because she might need something from them in the future. I'd like to think that she stayed there because, I mean, partially that because that makes sense and she's a survivor. But also because she wanted to make sure Kate survived or help Javi and whatever and blah blah blah. Which, in reality, is, I think, the kind of Clementine that she is. The It's just the way it's written here really doesn't focus on that, but in my head, that, that is what she is currently. I wonder how else she could look. Because this game has a real thing about changing Clementine's look depending on the outcome. So, like, the scar she gets, for us, she has a little scar on her cheek from where, in one of the flashbacks, a bullet hit her. Um, because that that's because of the ending we got in, in Season 2. If you get different endings, she will have a different scar on her face. So I'm assuming that here, depending on what Clementine became, she'll have a different outfit and a different, like, ha hairstyle. But this is a real different Clementine. Than what we're used to from from just the looks i mean but i'm there for it it's pretty fucking cool let's press continue okay well she didn't even need the knee thing god damn See what I mean? Determined Survivor hits it pretty well. Clementine's story will continue. Yeah. I wonder if I'm right. I, I had an assumption. Oh, and we're just... <laughs> and we're just in the main menu. My choices. Oh yeah, all the, all the whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't... We, we, we look through all that. Okay. Um... I wonder if my assumption at the beginning of this season was right. That this game can essentially act as either a third installment in the series or a first, you know? Like, you could ignore seasons one and two and just start with this game and then still continue with season four, which actually isn't called season four. It's like it's called something else. I wonder if I'm right about that assumption that uh, that that was the intention with this game. Essentially, it can be your new starting point for new players or, of course, a continuation of a previously established story. It can work either way with this ending too. Um, it can work... If you see this as the first game, it can work because Clementine gets introduced um, as still a kid 
but also one that survived alone in this um, in this apocalypse for a while. But depending on your relationship with her, she evolves and becomes a little something different. In our case, a determined survivor, as if she wasn't that before, but she is now really a determined survivor. Um, and it sets up the sequel in that case with um, her through line having to find AJ. So you essentially play Javi's story, but you meet the protagonist of the next game and set up the story of the next game. And then in the next game, of course, you take over a set protagonist over Clementine and you finish that story. That works. Um, but of course, there is still two more games before that, being The Walking Dead Season 1 and 2. And I think it... And of course, it also works if you keep those games in mind. Because that makes this whole... Um, in series of games that makes this whole series um, into Clementine's story because if you ignore seasons 1 and 2 and you just look at this game, A New Frontier as essentially the first game and then the next game being the last it becomes half Javi's story, half Clementine's, kinda but um, if you actually think about the previous seasons as well, then this entire series becomes Clementine's story. Even, even though in two of the games we don't play her. Of course, in the first one she's too young to play her. We play as, as Lee and teach her lessons that she takes throughout the whole series. Like, keep your hair short. She keeps that lesson fucking even in this game, you know, with her the hair cutting scene at the end. That still counts as Clementine's story even if we don't play as her. Then the second one we play as her. This one we don't. The next one we're going to play as her again. Um, but yeah. If you look at it that way, it's kind of weird that we don't play her in this game. But the story of this game also works as an entry point to the series for new players. So it's kind of, it's okay. Like nothing, nothing ruins it or anything. It's still Clementine's story. Overall. But, that is going to be it for this episode and for this season. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and next time, well, next time, baby, we're going to continue actually playing as Clementine, probably a couple years in the future, I think. And we'll see. That's the one game I don't actually know. This game, A New Frontier, I had watched one Let's Play of it when it came out. That means I... Basically, this whole game was blind for me, pretty much. I didn't remember a lot of it, especially the later episodes. I didn't remember. I, like, 90% of it, 99% of it, I didn't remember. It was essentially blind, which is cool. But the next one, I only know season... Uh, sorry, like, episode 1 and or 2, maybe from the next season because I, I watched the let's play of it when it came out but only the beginning I don't know the ending or anything so I am so fucking interested in that I'm s and I'm glad I haven't ever seen it because I want to go in completely blind so I'm really really fucking excited for that anyway enough talking I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you all next time Auf Wiedersehen <laughs>